Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to more house flippers. I've been very busy between episodes, I made some money, we're 55,000 and the house you guys or most of you actually said I should buy is one of the bigger houses uh, because it has an uninvited guest or something, yeah? So that's the one you guys want me to do now. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or I wanna flip it. I just wanna see if my old house starts becoming more valuable or not. I cleaned everything up around it. I went through the map and cleaned up everything. I have now some skills that I took to see more dirt, to see all the shenanigans, and we, we're clean. We, everything is done. Our house is perfectum. Absolutely per- Mwah. Yeah, so we should be getting loads of money for it or it's just fixed. I don't know. I have no idea But we're gonna buy a bigger house and then we're gonna see what we're gonna what can do with it and take more jobs if necessary We have a look. I don't know what we're gonna do exactly But either way, I hope you guys are gonna have a good time with the episode If you do remember to kick that like button in the box support the channel And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button So let's get started now One of the things you guys told me about is that I can see what people like to buy So I don't know if that influences how much money I get for my house or again It might not work with the starter house, but any consecutive house you're trying to flip so if we open our pad now, I don't fully understand it yet. We see a list of buyers. Johnson family, near 35 year old, married with three children. Personal info, blah, blah, blah. They like houses bought from us. No houses yet. They like no information, doesn't like no information. So we have zero information on these guys, on either of them. So I wonder if that is something that later on is something that becomes enabled automatically. And there's loads, like there's loads of people. I wonder, is this all the people that we actually took jobs from? I think so. Some of them look familiar. I have no idea. Jimmy Trader, John, the John Todd family. Raphael Erko. Yeah, he looks like, like an artist. Oh, there's dirt. Are you kidding me? I cleaned everything up. How did that dirt get there just now? This is like unacceptable. I don't even know how this happened. I had everything cleaned up. Where's that coming from? Wow, okay, it just seems to be like your house is getting old now. It's getting dirty, gross dirt outside. Like, what the hell? Okay, so let's go and have a look what the house is that we're gonna buy. Now, the house that you guys said the most was the house, it was uninvited guests. And I have 55,000, so I have plenty of spare cash for buying things. So we're gonna buy that, end of story. So let's go, let's have a look at the pictures, beautiful. DIY dream. Beautiful toilet, nice glitter effect on it. It's just absolute top class, top class. Let's buy it. You've bought a new house. Do you want to go there right now? If you prefer to stay in the office, you can always go to the new house using the gate. Okay, so will we go? Let's go. Ooh. So I want one bedroom, not two. Oh, on the left, you can see thumbnails of buyers. From time to time, they will comment on your actions. Pay attention, especially to those on the top. The higher they are, the more they're willing to pay for this house. But this house, I don't actually want to sell. I want to sell my old house. So I know there is a way of moving into this house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it up. We're gonna have a look. Oh, holy balls. I was wondering what that noise was. That is insane. Ah, great. Okay, so that's what they mean by uninvited guests. I was like hoping for a ghost or something, but no, they keep it all disgusting. Ah. Okay, we have a door. I, I told, we have two doors going in. Okay, this is gonna have to change. Yeah, we're gonna have to, oh, look at that. We can do tiling and paneling. That is awesome. Yeah, we definitely want to get rid of everything in here. And oh my pots, this house looks like crap. Oh, this is gonna be all emptied. We're gonna completely redecorate that. And we have the entrance then to the garden of the air. This is so clean and neat. Look at this. This is like, welcome to the modern first century, 21st century house. And then you open the door and it's like, Bleh. It's like, it's like a giant just opened the door and vomited into your house. There. Why would you have a door opening into it? Do you know, that reminds me on one of my very first apartments that I was uh, moving into, like, when I came to this country. It was, a, they call it a bed sit, yeah? But it was funny, it was exactly like that. You walk in, and you walk into your room, and the door went clonk, and that is because it hit the wardrobe where your clothes go in, and the wall was here. It literally had a bed, a wardrobe, and the door that hit the wardrobe, and that was it, yeah? That, that, that was it. And it costs more than I'm paying probably for my mortgage now. Unbelievable. <laughs> It's it. It just ripped you off left, right, and center. I think we have a lot of cleaning up to do. I'm I'm surprised there's only one room here. Well, we have another room here, and holy balls. So what is this? Like kind of a chill room? I mean, this could be the little office. This could be the little office. 
Well, this is obviously a kitchen, but we I like open plan. Okay, so the less walls, the better. But obviously, because this is an entrance here, you kind of have to have a wall. But then, oh, look at this. This is like a spare room as well. That is amazing. And then you have a bathroom here. We're going to sell everything. Every single thing is going to be sold in this place. We're going to do our own thing. We're not even going to entertain anything else. There you go. To clean these guys up, we actually need to pull out a hoover. That is gross. Oh, my balls. The sound they make is just disgusting. Enough cockroaches eliminated. You destroyed the cockroach nest. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's go and open the door and continue outside. Okay, so I think we're done. That was the last one. You destroyed the cockroach nest. Excellent. So let's have a little look around. We have to pick up all this garbage as well. So yeah, let's get rid of all of that. There we go. Very nice. Look at all the dirt. That is insane. This place is so dirty. But I think on the outside, everything is done now. We don't have to worry about a thing anymore. There's, is there some cobwebs? No, they're all on the inside. We don't have to really worry on the outside for now. Now, it doesn't look bad. We're not going to give it a paint job. Um, it is dirty though. Yeah, it definitely needs a clean job. And I think... We're going to leave the rooms as they are. However, this here, I definitely want to change. The office door, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it here yet, but this here has to change. What I would like to do is knock this all down. So we're going to, we're going to knock this down now, this here. Where I would like to build a wall is actually, I, I would love to have this all even. So where I would like to build a wall is here just about right here pull it all the way across and have the door definitely not where we had it <laughs> and have oh and have it a little bit over to the side have it actually over here closer to this wall yep this is perfect i think this is the color of door that i want to go with now on the inside here we are gonna build the kitchen of course over here but what i would like if possible is like kind of an island kitchen and maybe we can move this door. I'm not, uh, man, we, we don't have to move that door. I don't know if an island kitchen actually works. So, so let me see if that's actually a thing that we even can buy. I like this one. This one is really nice. Let's see how big that actually is. Oh, this is actually not that big. Let's see how big that is. Okay, so that's nice as well. I have to play around with some of these ideas and then see where the dining table goes and everything. Okay, this is the first time I'm doing any plastering. You need a bucket of plaster to fill the hole in the wall. A bucket of plaster, let me see. So if we go here and we say plaster, I have no idea how this works. So we're gonna have to figure this out. So we buy this, we put this here. I'm assuming we're gonna take this and then, oh, switch to plastering. Okay, now we have that and what do we do? Okay, so we just go over that. Oh, okay. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, let's fill it up again. That is so cool. I love that you can do that. That is amazing. Oh, there's another one over here. Let's do that as well. And yeah. What is that red thing over there? Okay, this is where the radiator gets installed. Fair enough. I don't mind that. We can leave. We can, we can, we can do that. And is there anything else to plast? I don't think so. This is awesome. Okay, so for now, we're going to leave this pot right here. We don't really care. And we're going to continue cleaning up. There's so much to clean up. It is unbelievable. I wonder if I just buy a new floor, do I still have to clean it up? Or is it going to be cleaned up automatically? I have bad news. The dirt stays. That is terrible. The dirt actually stays, but at least we can see the dirt on the floor now better. Like, you know, where it is with the dark floor, everything just blended into each other. So let's keep cleaning this up. This is going to be the first room we're going to do because the most time, well, in our house anyway, the most time you usually spend in uh, in the house or when you visit people in, uh, where we are is usually the kitchen. You know, everybody sits around there, has their cup of tea or whatever, or their, their, their drinks and their foods and talks. And it's just, you know, you're near the source of everything. So the kitchen it is. And we definitely want to get rid of this. This is just, can we just sell the cobwebs? I mean, that would make a lot of things a lot easier. I mean, somebody would surely buy them. So I like this color. 
This looks like a really nice color. Now, in real life, I probably wouldn't use a color like that in my house. But in this game, I actually really like it. I think it, it works well with the door. We use white doors as outside doors or any door that goes to the outside and these doors for the inside. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, if I'm going to leave this open or not. I'm going to paint it for now the same color as the kitchen. And that is just because I think I might leave it open, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, when it comes to lights, I'm in the ceiling. I'm a big fan of halogen lamps or halogen like these these spotlights yeah they're called i don't know is that a spotlight as well these ones are very expensive let me see is this a spotlight oh actually i am a big fan of these type of lights is that is that a spotlight is it let me see it is actually i do i love the spotlights oh there's actually a bit of dirt and um while I'm a big fan of them, maybe in the dining area, depending where we put the table, we can have a, ni a nice lamp hanging over the table and then have spotlights everywhere else. We'll see how it fits. But where did this dirt come from? I thought I had everything cleaned. Do we have an upstairs? Is the upstairs leaking? I don't know. Why am I leaving the door wide open? <laughs> It's like getting dark and people are like, just like, oh, look at him. He has an open door show. We can look right through the house. All the way to the back now what i do think would actually fit nicely in the back here on that window would be a curtain and there is actually um a double curtain this is a narrow curtain and then we have the white curtains um i like mountable white curtains short white curtains no i think in this case yeah short i like the short white ones and will there be white i think white might be a good color delicate flower no no no, no. white i think white oh actually what would contrast well with the let me see if that would work. Let me have a quick look and see um, if that would work. So this is very quick. It's just a couple of screws. There we go. But I think it might actually work. Mm, I'm not sure. What do you think? I'm not 100% sure, but I think it looks nice. Not everything has to be white. I mean, like I said, it's a bit crazy. It's not something I would do in real life, but you know, we're in a game. So let's get a little bit um, artistic. <laughs> Okay, let's put the radiator radiator down there or maybe we should put it under this window. Um, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Maybe a cabinet here and then the radiator here. Yeah, we do that. So that way we can sell that and we can buy a radiator mount for this area over here. There we go. Radiator mount. Radiator installation and radiator plumbing system. Very good. I like it. And we can put it right here. That looks lovely. I love the way it shows you the blueprint where it would go which is really nice, excellent stuff, here you go, and I think all we have to do now is go to radiator, there we go, excellent, bam, and done. For the kitchen, we're going to put a nice T-shaped kitchen in, I love it, absolutely fantastical, and we're going to, oh yes, light, we never actually bought the light for this, so let's just have another look at lamps again, and there was some nice ones which were kind of hanging over, which would look probably very nice over the table, these ones here, actually this one, no, I like this, these ones here look very, very nice, let me see what we have here, um, no, leave them a white and a dark, kind of a black, Yes, a black contrast. That would be really nice. Now, we're just going to have to get them exactly over the table. Why can we not put them in? Uh, do we have no money? No, we have money. So money is not the issue. Why do they go here, but they can't go over here? I am i don't know. I'm kind of confused. That is, This is confusing me. Okay. Very weird. Oh, I'm too far away. That's probably it. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to have to make sure it goes exactly in the center. So we want to be right here and a little bit over there. Is that about center? Well, it is, but it's too far away. And here we go. Perfect. Excellent stuff. Now we do need the light switch because our light switch got destroyed. So I'm assuming we can buy light switches. So let's try that light switch. There we go, modern light switch. Oh yes, modern, modern the crap out of it. And we're gonna put it right here. Okay, so there we go, we can turn it on. Look at that, that looks lovely. I'm liking this. There we go, kitchen is looking nice. We're just gonna need a couple of spotlights, so let's get them. The I like the dark, darker ones actually, like they were really nice. So, so let's, they, they, they were cheaper, but they, I actually like them better. They looked, they looked much nicer. So we should definitely have one right above the cooker. They're not going to get lined up, so don't even try to tell me that they're not lined up because I know they won't be lined up. <laughs> so we're going to have one right here and let's turn the light actually on. No, we can't. And we're going to have one right here. We're going to try to line it up, but it's, I'm not going to make any promises. There we go. 
and we're going to have another one here and another one approximately here that's about as proper as it gets so let's turn them on nice look at that i love it beautiful and bright absolutely fantastic we have a lovely kitchen we have a cooker do you know what we're actually missing we're missing an extractor i think that's the one thing that a kitchen needs is an extractor and this one here looks really lovely um wow it is humongousaurus okay so it goes it's kind of in the way though isn't it i mean if you put it here i mean it should go into the ceiling i don't know why it's trying to turn why are you turning that is not even funny okay um okay there we go so if we have that here i think we're gonna have to move the cooker a little bit over then and um maybe put the bin between the cooker and this i don't know it doesn't make sense you usually i don't like that you don't have this unit as a separate piece to buy like it, it seems that there is not not every like every unit that comes as a complete unit like that goes into an l shape does not have an individual counterpart which is very frustrating so you have all these individual parts so you can build a kitchen with those or you can buy these pre-made units but then you can't put anything beside them because it doesn't look good so i think we might have to replace this whole unit with individual parts just so we can fit everything in together so this is better it's not perfect but it's a lot better so we have a cooker here which ever so slightly by a little bit is looking forward but we have a nice extractor but we might actually move this extractor a little bit down there we go like that and a little bit higher we might move the extractor a little bit around like that we have the cooker here we have another unit here the unit kind of looks out of place now i really wish we could put something there on top so it looks more integrated that would be really lovely it would be nice to buy like one of those hollow and then buy a cooker or something to integrate. That would be absolutely awesome. So for the moment, I think I will remove this part here because it just looks completely out of place. So we have the cooker here and we have this absolutely amazing, excellent. So what we could actually put there is like a plant or something, I don't know, like some gigantic plant. Let me see here what we have, plant. Okay, that's how to plant books. That's not it. How to cook 40 humans, something, something like that. I think, no, I don't want that, yucca, ooh, no. I always think of spiders when I hear yoga plant. Uh, horror stories for sure. Okay, that looks very small. That doesn't even look right. Okay, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave that here. This looks good. I like my kitchen. We spent so much time on that kitchen. I'm going to do the rest between episodes by myself because we're going to live here. So I just wanted to get a good start, uh, have a look at the rooms. But we definitely are not going to make this the office. The office is definitely going to go here in the front and i'm happy with the kitchen let me know what you think about the kitchen and um we're not going to flip this what we're going to do though is we're going to sell the other house now so it's actually funny just purely cleaning up the house and not even doing anything with it it's just i wanted to do a little bit more cleaning before we go and sell the other house just purely doing these type of things like you know cleaning and plastering over the holes in the walls you have one or two more already got them to like getting really excited about it i don't even have a toilet yet one of the guys was like oh well no toilet are you crazy because <laughs> i accidentally removed the pump or the connection the plumbing for the toilet when i was uh, going mad selling everything i accidentally sold the plumbing so i think that's it there should definitely be plaster here well it is plastered everything is plastered now so i don't think anything is left that hasn't been plastered yet this is perfect i love this room this is so nice this looks a little bit out of place i might actually get rid of the units for now yeah i think they just look too much out of place so what we might actually do instead over here is um i don't know put a picture up there or a shelf i think actually you know what do they have spice shelves that would be amazing like a shelf for the kitchen like no this is this is a shelf oh for kitchen utensils Ooh, i like that because maybe we could put that on the wall Ooh, i like that it was a bit of a beach effect yes oh i love it now and we put it right here look at that that is nice a bit lower i think it has to be low enough for you to reach it and we put it a bit in the corner because we don't want the cloth to get wet so or the cloth actually is is that a cloth cloth or is that a roll of paper? If it's a cloth, then it should be over the sink like, like this. But if it's, okay, I thought it was like a roll of kitchen paper because then you don't want to have that, have that over the sink. This is nice, I love it. This fits perfectly. And we have our little cooker unit here. Still not happy that it's not perfectly aligned. OCD kicking in a little bit, but that is nice. 
I like it. Everything is clean. Everything's um, now plastered. I don't think I forgot to plaster anything in this room or in this room. Yeah, this lamp is a bit bleh, yuck. I think we're gonna paint everything else white in the hallway. In the hallway, everything white anyway. It's a very small hallway, so we don't want to probably put anything in except maybe a mirror or pictures and maybe in the corner a stand for clothes if we can buy that and that for, for coats and that's about it. And the bathroom, not the biggest one either, but, and I'm not a big fan of baths anyway. So we'll see if one of the guys are. So bathtub can definitely go because all I really want is, oh, this is where the toilet goes. Toilet, a sink and a nice big shower that's really all i want and then the radiator we're gonna sort out yeah the towel actually the towel rack uh, makes sense here and then we can put the shower here we can put uh, the toilet here by the window would make sense not right here when you walk in and um, then we can put like a shelf unit here or something like that i think we get that all done we can fit that all in but i definitely i'm not a big bath person anyway so i can live without a bath perfectly fine Okay, so now let's have a look and see if we can find if we can get more information on those. So this is not the same people. This here is not the same people. So how do I get inform information on those people? On these guys? Let me see. Uh, if I put everything away and then press control, can I click on these? No. Okay, so we know his picture. So let's go and open him here. No, he doesn't say anything. So. We can't really see how much they would give us. I think maybe we have to go into the house on the la on the computer, but we don't have a computer here. Ooh, does that mean we have to move everything? How does it work if you want to move house? Let's go back to the other house first and uh, see how this works to move office, because that is something I still have to figure out as well. All we had to do is leave and then that was it. Yeah, I had to put the same units in here with the cooker. It just looks better. When you have a huge place, you can buy one of those all-in-one units where everything is in the cooker. They extract everything. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, so let's have a look here and see if we can see what other people think of the house. I don't think so. I don't think we can see anything. Go to the house. Back to the house list. So how do we move office? So no, this is another purchase. Actually, the house we bought is gone. So how do we move? This is first office. This is the one we're currently at. And that's the one we, I want to sell this and move office. How do I do that? Okay, that took me a while to figure out. So basically you have all these options here, like, you know, auction the house, go to house, but then to move office, it's here. So, which is really weird, you know, because this is the pause menu and everything else is through the laptop and everything. So it's a bit weird that the option is here, to be honest, like you would expect that to be on the pad. Um, like, I think the laptop is actually redundant. There should be a section just here for what your pad, for your emails and everything. Everything should just be on your pad. The laptop, I think, is completely redundant. Now, if you have a laptop, for for whatever per immersion purposes you might can access the same screen as you can currently now but the pad definitely should have these options as well it just doesn't make sense for me not to have them so let's go escape and move office here so let's move the office excellent oh i have my laptop you selected a new office for now on it it's your new office only have selected place your laptop anytime you can move to your old office to sell it for profit okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to place the laptop here i can't okay let's place it here let's open up and let's take the laptop and put it in. Oh, we can't open doors when we have things like a laptop in our hand. Okay, so right now, laptop goes here. That's good enough. I mean, this is a good start. You know, you work in this house, you clean it up while you make business from it. Absolutely fantastical. So let's go in here and let's go to the browser and this house, let's go to it and see what the people think about our new house. If there's people, is there no bubbles? Oh, we don't have any people's been interested in our house. There they are. So let's see if they say anything. I mean, we're not going to change anything, so it doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, we leave the TV in and everything. That's fine. I mean, it's. I think we did a good job. So let's see if we get more than 27,000. So 27,000 is what the house was worth. We put a lot of work into this uh, house. We worked on this house for an hour and 44 minutes and 14 seconds. That is insane. And that's actually how long I work now on the other house as well. So let's start the auction and let's see how it works. Giorgio Shauna, a big bedroom, how sweet. I don't understand what I need this kitchen for. <laughs> I want to rent this house to two people. So it would be great if they will have a place to sleep. 
Tenants value two bathrooms. Yeah, okay, that's impossible. One bedroom is enough for me. I like order. Yeah, well, that's okay because that's all we have. I like that there's only one bedroom. There's no place for my books in this house. Ooh, okay, interesting. So he is the winner, Raphael Erko. What a shame there's no living room. Well, it's, what, what, you, you know, a statement like that alone, you walk into a small one bedroom house or like flat, whatever you want to call this. Yeah, like shack. And then you say, oh, there's no living room. What did you expect when you looked at the measurements on paper when it says, hey, do you want to attend an auction for a house which is the size of two cubic of two by two meters? Oh, it has no living room. How I'm surprised about this after I read all the specs on paper. I need a separate office. Well, that makes sense, but we can't put any walls there. Exactly one bedroom. Okay, there's no private space only for myself. Well, that's okay. You're the winner, I think. We should negotiate the offer because we can negotiate. I think, can we negotiate? Let's see. I'm probably going to bite myself in the ass and I'm going to lose it. So let's see if I can increment the price by 500. What is this? What is this? Oh, that's the increment. Is that a dollar? What? No, no. What? 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 I, don't, I, I don't know what this is. I don't understand. Okay. Hang on a second. Cancel this for a second. Negotiate the offer. What is that? $100. Okay, so I don't know what this means. I have absolutely no clue. So why don't we go for $500 and see if he's okay with that. Negotiate. Your offer is too low. I can sell you the house for 511 more. Cool, I take it. Nice! We got an extra cool 500. That is awesome. So we made a profit of 6,000. Okay, great. We made a profit of 7,460 alone on this house. That is amazing. For an hour and a half works, that's not bad at all. Okay, accept the offer. Brilliant. Look at that. We're amazing. We now have an account balance of 43,000. What is your impression after the first auction? If you would like to check some buyer's details before the next one, I saved your notes about them on the tablet. Oh, nice. So the things they said is the things we now get access to. Let me see. So he was, oh, yes. So if we want to sell for him, for example, like later on, there is no place for books. So all we really need to do is put books in it, like, you know, bookshelf in it. And that's about it. So that is amazing. I don't understand what I need a kitchen for. There's no place for all my clothes. <laughs> Clean and fragrant. Oh, yeah. So this is amazing. Yeah, these guys are family. Obviously, they want a lot more. But we, this guy is like, what a shame there's no living room. It's a shame that there is no place. Everything is a shame with you. Don't be so ashamed. Anyway, I think that was a great first look at how this whole uh, auction thing works and how the house flipping works. I'm really happy with our new house. Thank you for suggesting this house. I think the f next time what we're going to do is probably... I'm going to do some extra jobs or we're going to do some jobs together, clean the garage, answer from the decorate. I don't know. We're going to do these jobs. But the main thing is from now on to get enough money to flip the houses. Now, they always require a lot of work. So we might actually have only one episode every two or three days so that I can work like and put a lot of effort into the episodes and actually get a lot of work done in them because we want to pay episode want to have a house that we flip and see how much profit we get or let me know what you guys want me to do in on this game i have no idea maybe there's a lot more to it than i know i know there's houses which have bunkers i don't know if you can buy them or if you can get to work in them but let me know in the comments below anyway we leave it here i hope you guys had a good time with the episode if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming so I'm thinking of making this in the storage room. Now I cannot remove windows, which is really, really, really a pity. I was going to make this like solid walls with nobody being able to look into it, but uh, we can't. So what I'm going to do instead is see if I can move two units here. That would be pretty cool um, right beside each other. And that would be purely just for food storage. So let's see. Oh, nice. We actually can go a little bit out a little bit. There we go nice oh that is lovely and then maybe even do a little bit of storage over here but uh, i don't know yet so what can we put on here is there anything that we can put on it like food oh food containers look at that a large food container canned food oh yeah many excellent so let's put a couple of canned food in here there we go nice oh that is sweet i love that i'm gonna put another can here maybe turn one a little bit as well there we go, nice. You know, you can never have enough um, food. And I'm not talking world end, I'm talking just in general being good, filled up, stocked up. And what other foods do we have? What is this big one here? What is the large food container? What does that look like? 
Um, okay, so we can just put that here. Very good, I like it. Let's buy another one, emergency food. I have no idea what these things are. Like, I would never buy that in real life, but you know what, hey ho, you know? Food container, yeah, we can put one here. And let's see if we have anything to drink, like water. That would, oh, supplies, oh, look at that. A generator, oh, we have more, we have canned meat. That is amazing. So you can put like different cans together. Oh, that is so sweet. I like that a lot. Look at that, nice. And what else do we have here? We have some chickpeas, tomatoes, some macaroni and rice. Oh, a plastic barrel, how big is that? Oh yeah, absolutely. I have no idea what it's for, but you know what? Let's 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 buy one, and um, then we can also buy some water. Maybe is that a thing? Water, water, water. That's just food. That's a power generator. Holy balls! A package box. We don't need that. A gas cylinder. Um, water. There we go. Water container. Nice. Yeah. Buy many. You never can have enough water. So why don't we just put a couple of water here? Nice. There we go. And if we ever sell this house, I'm pretty sure people are going to go like, nice, you know, like you can have some food and here's some water. Okay, we can't put it in the shelf anyway, so let's put more here in the corners. There we go. Nice. Excellent. Beautiful. You never can have enough. So this is starting to look like a proper storage room already. Now, the one thing I would change though, because you guys know I'm a big fan of spotlights. That was just a temporary solution. So, <laughs> so we go back to the lamps. I forgot what they're called. No, I call them spotlights, but they're called halogen lamp mini okay so let's buy a few of them i think we can put um one here one here and ah oh, come on we have to stay in line and one here this one doesn't look like it's actually in the middle i think it has to be moved so let's see if we can do that yes we can so let's move it to about here beautiful and now if we have the light switch excellent look at that that is amazing i love this room beautiful oh yes it's coming together slowly nice